by making the knowledge of God dependent on the passing away of your existence and the passing away of that passing away, there is an affirmation of something other than God. The prophet said, whoever knows their self knows their Lord. He did not say, whoever annihilates their self knows their Lord. Your being is nothing, and whatever is nothing cannot be placed in relationship to anything else. Whether capable of passing away or not, whether existent or non-existent. The prophet pointed to the fact that you are non-existent now as you were non-existent before creation. Because now is eternity without beginning, and now is eternity without end, and now is timelessness. God is the very being of eternity without beginning, eternity without end, and timelessness, even though in reality there is no eternity without beginning, eternity without end or timelessness. If it were otherwise, he would not be alone and without any associate. And again, he says that now is eternity without beginning. And then he says that there is no eternity without beginning because these are just concepts to describe something. So although they don't exist, they are tools to help you see what it is pointing to. See, we believe we are in time, but actually we are in eternity already observing time. In order for you to observe time, you cannot be in time where time would not be observed. However, it is necessary for him to be one without any associate because any associate would exist through itself and not through the being of God. Then that associate would not need God and would therefore be a second Lord, which is impossible. God has no associate equal or like. And this is stated in all holy scripture, that God is one without other. And so if there was another, that thing or being would exist independent of God. But all things exist through the being of God, which shows there's only one being. An example would be an ocean. If all the waves exist, by the being of the ocean, if all waves exist by the ocean, then all the waves are the ocean. There is no other than the ocean. And this is what is being pointed to. Whoever sees anything with God, whether coming out of him or within him, or dependent on him by virtue of his lordship, has also made that thing an associate, even if that associate depends on him by virtue of his lordship. And this is, this is one of the things <clears throat> that I discuss with people sometimes, especially my Christian brethren, is that they believe you know, you have your own will, independent of God. And so you exist independent of God. And that's what they're saying. And that would make you another Lord. If your power, if you have power outside of the Lord, then, then you are an associate of the Lord because you have power and he also has power. They don't see that it's only one power or one God. And so I believe that's what Beliani is saying here. Whoever allows that there could be anything with God, whether it's subsisting by itself or through him, whether in a state of having passed away or passing away of passing away, is far from breathing the scent of self-knowledge. Whoever accepts that there could be anything Whoever accepts that there could be any being other than him, yet subsisting through him and in him, then passing away in successive stages of passing away and the passing away of passing 
is a polytheist, one who believes in many gods and knows neither God nor their self. The knowledge of the self and the knowledge of God consisting in being aware that God is and nothing is with him and he is now as he has always been. Ask of God to show you things as they are, to show you what is other than himself, than him as himself, without the existence of what is other than him. In this way you may know all things as the essence of God who is exalted without how or where. The word things applies to the separate self and to other things because the existence of the separate self and the existence of things are equal in terms of being things. See, and, w and when you come to know God, you come to know God as, <clears throat> which is another concept, but consciousness or awareness that spirit that cannot be seen, but that knows all things. And all scriptures testify of this, that God knows all things. And I tend to point people to figure out what is that in you that knows all things, that knows your memories, that knows your thoughts, that knows your feelings, that knows your perceptions, meaning your sights. What is that that knows all things? Find out what that is. And see if that is limited or in time or changes. And see if you can know anything outside of that. Does any things exist separate from awareness or the knowing of it? Can you know anything without the knowing element, should we say? It's impossible. Because to know something outside of the knowing element, that would have to be known. <laughs> and the only way it would be known is by the knowing element, which all things arise in this knowing element, which people refer to by different names. Consciousness, awareness, source, God. When you truly know the things, you know yourself. And when you know yourself, you know the Lord. What you think is other than God is not other than God, but you do not know it. You see him and you do not know that you see him. When this secret is revealed to you, you will know that you are not other than God and that you yourself are the object of your quest. You do not need to get rid of yourself. You have, not, you have not ceased, nor will you cease to exist without time and without moment. You will see God's attributes as your attributes, your exterior as his exterior, your interior as his interior, your first as his first, and your last as his last without any doubt or certainty. That's a powerful paragraph right there because that is exactly how it is when you come to realize yourself is that all things are him everything in awareness is made of awareness just like every wave may be different but they are all made of ocean You will see your attributes to be his attributes and your essence to be his essence without you becoming him and without him becoming you in the least degree. Nothing exists except his face, both outwardly and inwardly. Nothing other than him has ever had have, have being and there is nothing that needs to pass away so that his face remains. There is nothing except his face. And this is one of the... Um, concepts in some new age teachings um, that you have to get rid of the ego which I can understand why you say that but God is verily the ego as well because God is all things so it's not that you have to get rid of a piece of God to see God when you see God you see that the ego is a part of God 
So some people say everything is God except the ego. Well, that's not true. And this is what Belliani is stating right here. That you don't have to get rid of anything. You must see the reality of all things. 